Hey guys, my name is Jessica and I'm here today to show you my new home office. for several months we have been staying in a tiny rental home and we finally found a house we got it for a pretty good price and the best part is I have a whole room to myself I have an office for the first time in my life and I'm so excited so we went from a very small house to a house that allows us to have a little bit more flexibility with the rooms we actually have a guest room and office and my son has his own room, which is awesome. So I've been having so much fun getting this room ready and it's not done yet, but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys before NaNoWriMo started because I will be doing NaNoWriMo and I do wanna film videos based on that. So a little bit about this room. I painted it. Um, it was the second room in the house that I painted. I painted the kitchen cabinets the master bedroom and then this room. This is actually the same color as the master bedroom. It's called Windstorm Gray, I believe. It's very calming and neutral and I can put anything in here and it's gonna look okay. So I think that it turned out pretty well. The walls were pretty beaten up. So I had a lot of work to do patching and repairing, but I'm proud of how it turned out and I'm glad I got it done before November. So a little bit before I show you my bookshelves, I was a high school teacher for five years, so I had a lot of my books in my classroom throughout that time. Um, I did lend out books. I knew when I was lending them out that I would not get some of them back, but I accepted that fact and I was just happy that kids were interested in my books and, you know, I'm happy that they have those books at their house that they can pick up whenever. So I've spent money on books that I have not seen since I left teaching, but that's okay. I also wanted to mention there are quite a few books that are either missing their dust jacket or are kind of in shreds. My dad went through a phase where she ate books and I, I put some of the ones that still look okay on my shelves. Some of the other ones I have in my closet because they look kind of terrible. I also lose dust jackets like crazy. I take them off when I read hardcover books because they annoy me and so sometimes I don't keep up with them. I know that's not great, but it's the truth. I prefer paperback to hardback. I don't know how many people are like that, but I definitely prefer paperback. So I'm gonna just give you an overview of the books um, these two bookshelves that are to my left and right are just fiction books that I've collected throughout the years or um, have had gifted to me. And then I have a bookshelf that has textbooks, either high school textbooks that I've taught or um, textbooks from like my undergrad or grad school classes. I also have some middle grade books that I just collected throughout teaching. Um, like old library books that were given to me or just, you know, books for lower level readers that I didn't necessarily put on my regular shelves. I also have a bunch of notebooks and then I, I've been a huge journaler throughout most of my life. So I have some of my journals. I swear there are more journals in this house somewhere. I just haven't found them yet. We still have boxes in the garage. So I'm sure that as time goes on, you guys will see my shelves become a little bit fuller when I locate everything. This is the first time in years that I've had a chance to really unpack everything and put everything all in one place. I have moved, so with my family throughout my life, we've lived in several different states. We've moved nearly every few years. 
um, sometimes every year. And then since I turned 18 and moved out of my parents' house, I have moved literally every year since then. So it's been 11 years since then. And I'm finally in a place where I feel like I'm going to stick around for at least maybe five years, hopefully longer. And I can really like put down my roots and not have to worry about moving, not have to worry about like unpacking everything just to pack it all up again. I've had boxes that I haven't opened since like 2006 probably, just because I haven't had any room to really unpack anything. So I'm super excited about this. I feel like it's going to allow me to focus on writing in a way that I haven't before. Um, because I've just felt, felt so claustrophobic in spaces I've had to go out and write and I feel like now I have a room that I can close off and write and not worry about my dogs or my son getting into anything. I can just close it off and keep it the way I want it. So let me show you guys around a little bit. So as you can see, I have color coded my books for the most part. This is what I was filming with because my tripod is broken, but I color coded the books for the most part, except for this section over here. I have some of my Harry Potter books and then my Shakespeare collection. I kept those separate because they're some of my favorites. Um, I do not have all the Harry Potter books. It is my goal to get like a huge matching set. We shared the Harry Potter books when they first came out, like me and my sisters, and so we all ended up with different ones, and these have been, these have been well loved, as you can see. Here's my Shakespeare collection, they're not in any order. So I do have quite a few duplicates, that's because I've either had books given to me or I've just like found them for a really good price somewhere and picked it up for my classroom. Um, as you can see, the giver actually taught so that's why I have a couple of those. Um, what else? Monster I've taught. So I have a couple of those. I don't know where the other one is. But yes. Um, here is where more books are going to go when I locate them. Obviously I have not yet. I'm not going to go over every book because they are not in order other than by color. Which I, fe I feel like I really like. I don't really need them alphabetized or anything right now. So I just like it aesthetically. This is one book that my dog got that has remained on my shelf because it's not terrible. This is one of the nicer looking victims. This is one that I've talked about. I actually, I did finish it when I did um, Bookshubathon and I ended up really loving it. It's by Megan Miranda, All the Missing Girls. My dad actually borrowed this one today. He was here and he needed something to read. He took All the President's Men, so that's why there's a gap there. I have a Rainbow Rowell book. She is one of my favorite authors. I have The Poisonwood Bible, which I talk about a lot. My well-loved copy. I have a ton of Nicholas Sparks books. I feel like I've only read maybe two, but this is something that I've just ended up with. I've kept them on my shelves because um, teenage girls love them, but I have like way too many. This is another book that I read recently that I really enjoyed. I actually read it at the beach and it was a super awesome beach read. Um, just a really quick mystery that I enjoyed. It's called The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. This was one of my favorite books that I read in high school, Native Son by Richard Wright. It's super dark, but it was a really good book. I also love biographies. There's more Rainbow Rowell. This one I've lost the dust cover for, the dust jacket. This is a really cool book that I read in high school for like a philosophy class. It's called Sophie's World. It is about different philosophies, but it's a really cool format. Trivia. We play a lot of trivia, and so my friend got this for me and my boyfriend. I have two Fahrenheit 451s that are not in order for some reason. This is leftover from when I was a kid. I used to love Nancy Drew books. Walden, one of the books I hated the most. This is one that I actually did not finish in high school and I was really good about finishing all of the novels I was assigned, but this one I could not make it through. There's more Barbara King Solver. I love her. Here's The Crucible, which I loved teaching. And then over here I had my textbooks, which I am using as a tripod, so that's where they are. 
Um, so I have a bunch of like reference material type books, a bunch of, these are like AP literature books from when I taught AP Lit. I have some like middle grade, lower level books. So these are some of my journals and like planners. This one's from 2008. Um, I have, ooh, this one might be the oldest. Oh my gosh. 2003 Dear Journal. These will not stay up. From when I was younger. Textbooks. And then here I have just like blank notebooks, paper, anything that I could ever need. This is actually something that I made for a bridal shower. It's just like a string of lights and tool. I was a little bit worried about it catching on fire, but it hasn't so far, so we might be in the clear. Um, this I ordered off of Amazon. It's a battery-powered string of lights. I don't know if I'm going to hang them or not yet. I kind of like them like this, but it is cool because it is battery-powered. And I can make them flash if I ever want to do that. And then this tapestry I ordered off of Amazon as well. It was pretty cheap, so I didn't have high hopes. Um, it is a little bit pixelated, but I like the overall look of it. Here I have my computers. I do use my laptop more than my desktop, um, but I put my desktop there anyway. I don't know if it'll stay there forever, but there it is for now. I need to get a computer chair. I want a rolly chair because we do have this. It's not real wood whatever it is, this type of floor in here. So I want to get a rug and like a rolly chair. Here are some pictures that I need to hang up. I have just some that I've collected throughout the years. Uh, if I don't break them. Um, a couple prints that my sister got me in Europe. I'm planning to put a table right here. I do a lot of like crafty artsy things. And so I really want to put a table here that is in the near future. If you want to see something creepy, okay, this is the door, obviously. There is a peephole, which at first you might think, that's kind of weird, why is there a peephole on a bedroom door? But then you realize that you can only see in and not out. How creepy is that? So... I would love to get a new door at some point. Not that I feel like anyone is gonna be creeping on me. It's just kind of weird. Here is my closet, which is a mess. I'm going to get a tension rod and hang up this curtain in front of it so that I can block it off because it does not have a door. So I think it'll look a lot nicer. And then here is my chair. It's a little reclining chair. I'm super excited about it. I feel like I'm gonna spend most of my time writing here. And I have a little throw blanket and then my window. Here's my outside view. It's raining right now. It's a pretty nice private view. I have my pumpkin spice candle burning right now. And then I have my like Christmas tree scented candles. Whatever Christmas tree scents are. What is this one? Fresh balsam. These are my favorite candles, but I only let myself burn them in like November, December, January. So uh, they are out there in preparation. So that is my office. There's also a toothbrush. My son loves leaving toothbrushes around the house. He's obsessed with brushing his teeth, so we always find toothbrushes everywhere. So today is one of those rare days where I have the house to myself. It's actually getting dark out, but I actually have time to sit down and film I'm not painting or unpacking boxes, so I was really excited to get this done today, especially because I want to do a few NaNoWriMo videos before November starts. I had so much fun doing them last year, and I was really looking forward to filming a lot this year. It just, like, we bought a house, and then I couldn't get everything in quick enough. We had a lot to do over at our rental house, and now I finally have the time it's halfway through October, but I still have a couple weeks, so I'm looking forward to making a few videos before NaNoWriMo starts. 
I'm also excited to give you an updated office tour when I finally get stuff on the walls and locate everything that is going in here. Hopefully get better lighting. The light in here is very yellow and gross and we'll see what we can get done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be on the lookout for some NaNoWriMo related videos before it starts. I'm so excited. I have an awesome story idea this year. I've actually borrowed it from my story ideas from last year, so I've been kind of thinking about it all year. I'm excited that I'm finally getting to it. Thank you again for watching. I will see you next time.